Hello guys, this is Jason for the one here, so we're playing more GTA 5 today and this is another wall breach glitch in Michael's house. Now I did make a video on this quite a while ago and I'm going to redo the video on the next gen version. Obviously it's a lot different because you have to do it a different way. Now this is where Michael's is, Marcus house is on the map. Obviously everyone knows where Michael lives so that's where it is online just because it doesn't have the marker. So this glitch is plain and easy, it's really simple just like the last one in my last video. All you need to do is do the passive mode thing, but I'm just going to show you guys the passive mode thing does not work here at all. So uh, do not try it here because it won't work at all because your guy doesn't push against it. Well, he doesn't go inside of the door. <coughs> so don't try it here. And don't I don't think the garage works at all. So what you really want to do is actually try the uh, back garden with the like glass windows. So I'm going to head over there now. Now we have headed over here, there is a couple of glass doors, you're going to do it in both doors and well, all you need to do is exactly the same as the last thing so we need to wait for the passive mode to do and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, one second. Now that we are back, what we want to do guys is enable the passive mode and disable and push your left analog stick right forward into the doorway. Now you will slide into the door really slowly, so make sure you push your left analog stick forward while disabled. Now your guy is pushing against the glass and it's actually going inside of the building. Now that's how you get inside of uh, Michael's house for this little glitch. If you want more details on how to do it, if you can't do it, just comment down below and I'll help you out guys. I'll even invite you to the session on GTA 5 if you've got an Xbox One and I'll show you how to do it. Now Michael's house is exactly the same as it is on the campaign. You got your front room, you got a back room, you got your kitchen, you got a big projector screen, a fireplace, bouncy ball, everything's exactly the same as the upstairs rooms. And yeah, it's kind of cool because say if there's an online gang after you, like a couple of people coming after you, you can just get in this glitch, it's plain and simple. And they don't probably don't know how to get inside of it. So uh, it's pretty decent because it's Michael Sass and it's a pretty nice house. You can't get into the garage. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to do it for the garage where I'm not sure though. But uh, yeah, so we're going to show you upstairs. upstairs. So if obviously you haven't played the campaign, which you have. I mean, so you must have at least played the campaign. This is Michael's house and it's pretty nice. This is, uh, I think it's Tracy's room or something like that. I think it's named, yeah, Tracy's room. And that's one with the blonde hair's daughter. And now this is, um, I forgot his name's room, but it's his son's room anyway. And you can actually go on the internet on these laptops, so uh, that's kind of a cool thing. And also the main room, yeah, well this is the bathroom, and you can actually see yourself in the mirror, which is pretty cool. And it's the only mirror in the game you can actually see yourself in, well it's pretty weird, but yeah. So uh, this is uh, for the first time I've seen myself in first person, so let's go. Now I'm going to be showing you uh, this room again, I'm just going to show you the look around. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and also subscribe for more content on my channel. I've got to show you the last room, but uh, yeah, I'll see you next week guys, and I'll uh, see you next video. So this is where it is. Bye guys, hope you have a nice day. Peace.